Hi, it's Lipstick Elle. Thanks so much for watching. Let's do a lip ranking today. Kind of going through my collection and I realize I have purchased a lot of lip gloss or lip gloss in stick form this year. Oh, so much. Oh, so much. I want you to know that a lot of times when I rank, it's based on either what I'm using the most in the moment, which means that earlier in the year, I might have been using something else a little bit more in the moment, but things have been kind of like dethroned. And then also kind of my preferences change all the time. You know, in the cooler months, I want something a little bit more nourishing. In the warmer months, I want to be a little bit more lightweight. As you know, things change. My makeup aesthetic is constantly shifting and I'm always intrigued by something new, but I have a lot. I haven't counted. Hang tight. I've purchased 35 glossy lip products this year. There's no way I'm going to get through all of these. Okay, don't do what I do. Remember, I have a YouTube channel and I am reviewing things so that you don't have to waste your money. Okay, that's my preface to make myself feel better because I'm really like, <sighs> all right, so the worst one that I've tried so far this year is this one from LA Girl. I wanted to like it because it's drugstore and it's a lip oil and it smells like watermelon hubba bubba or watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It smells delicious. It's, it's really a clear shade. I am not gonna put this in my mouth because <laughs> this is the one that tastes like soap. I thought I was drinking out of a cup. I am forever with like a tumbler. Um, this is a reusable tumbler full of a, a beverage. And all summer long, I end up with lip product here. And that's when I'm like, oh, maybe my kids didn't rinse all the dish soap out of this. And then I realized it wasn't the dish soap, it was this. If you don't have a sensitive sense of taste, this might not bother you. Or maybe it's just the watermelon one. I don't know. I do not recommend. The other ones that I really wanted to love, but they just were not practical for me. I feel like the formula is nice. I just hate the packaging. And sometimes this is a case of the packaging was so bad, I quit using it. And it's these guys. These are the RMS lip lights. This was a new launch from RMS this year. And for me, it's um, how, okay, it's a metal tube. And for me, the metal tube is great if it's living here on the desktop and I only use it here. But whoever only uses like a sheer lip product in one place, like you wanna take it with you if you're working, if you're going out for the day, you put it in your purse or your pocket or wherever. And these do not lend themselves well to that. I do like the shades that I got. This is the shade Rhapsody. This is the shade Babette. I like the shininess of them. I like the pigmentation of them. I like that you can thin them out. They don't have to be, you know, that heavily pigmented. They're really nice and they are nourishing on the lips. My beef with them is that metal tubes crack. And when a product that has pigment in it is in a metal tube and it cracks, it's gonna come out the side. You may not be young enough to remember this, but I certainly do growing up as a really young kid. Toothpaste used to come in metal tubes and my parents hated nothing more than when my brother and I would squish in the middle of the tube and then they would have to try and inch it up from the bottom and then there'd get a crack in the side and toothpaste would start coming out of there because the whole tube is under pressure. Okay, that is not a problem anymore because we're using plastic toothpaste tubes, but I remember this and so when I saw this, I feel like in this sort of packaging here, something that you would use multiple times throughout the day is not as functional as something like they have their cream eyeshadows in metal tubes, which makes more sense because I am not touching up my cream eyeshadow. I put it on at the beginning of the day and I go, and it works really well. This is something that I'm gonna eat off and I'm gonna wanna reapply after lunch. This is something that if I have too many cups of coffee in the morning, I might have left most of it on the rim of my coffee cup and I'm gonna want some more. So these were a fail, not for the formula, surely for the packaging. One more point that really bothered me is this cap here. I have glued myself with the super glue because as you're screwing this on, the cap is so thin that I literally got a hole in it where I screwed it on so tight that this metal portion popped through the top of the lid. And then I had this product ooing out because even though I had the lid on, it was still coming out through the hole in the lid. I reached out to RMS, emailed twice, and I never got a response. And I'm saying, I'm more than happy to buy the lid. Would you send me another lid for this? I don't want a whole new product. I just want a lid. I will pay for shipping. I will pay for, pay for a lid and nobody got back to me. So I cleaned it out carefully with a toothbrush and a Q-tip and I dried it out and then I super glued it. And, and like, it was a whole ordeal. I don't want to have to work that hard for a lip gloss. All right, here was one that I know everybody loves. 
And my problem with this is that it's a high maintenance lip gloss, although I love this shade. This is the Yummy Gloss from CoverGirl. This right here is the shade Acai You Later. So this shade, 100% in love with. I love the chunky doe foot. She's so pretty, but this does, and here's the weird thing. I'm gonna have this problem later on. This does the cardinal sin of glosses for me, which is to get really heavy, sink down into the corners, and when I talk, it looks like a cheese pull, where product from the bottom lip and the top lip stick together, and if you are talking and your lips are moving, all you see is the visual distraction of like stringy gloss. No thank you. It smells nice, it feels nice, uh, color is so pretty, it looks so shiny on the lips, but that bothers me. This is the City Gloss Clear Gloss. This is supposed to, if you use it for like 30 days, give you plumper lips. I used it multiple times a day for 30 days. I noticed no difference. Um, it's a nice clear gloss. It's it, This hangs tight. This will literally, like you could put it on and four hours later you still have gloss on. I know some people are devoted to this. I was expecting, I think maybe the reason it's down so low is that I was expecting something different. And I felt like this wasn't delivering that what I was expecting. Is it a bad gloss? No, but she's pretty pricey. She's like $30 for this one tube of gloss. And I got them when it was buy one, get one. But so I have another unopened tube somewhere in the house. It's not a bad gloss, but I think that for what you're getting, it's very expensive and it wasn't like life altering. And I don't, I guess I should say lip altering. It didn't give me what it promised. So yeah, it's down at the bottom. All right, so there are a lot of products in here that aren't legitimate glosses or lip oils. They are gloss in stick form. And I'm not gonna rank these based on color, just the product itself. The next one, and I was in love with these when I first got my hands on them at the beginning of the year, head over heels, could not stop reaching for them and I've used them a lot. But since that point, I've had a couple of beasts and let me tell you about it. So these are the Wet n Wild Rose Comforting Lip Colors. I like the formula, I think the formula is nice, except for they smell expired and they're not that old. They're very pretty, very shiny, glossy, sheer situation. And for me, I don't know that they're expired, but they smell expired. And beyond that, there is the, the I think like if you put a little sweet scent in here, they smell like ingredients. Normally, if it smells like a lipstick, that doesn't bother me. But if it smells like a lipstick that's gone bad, I don't know whether these have a short shelf life and they are past their sixth month and they're like, so sorry, they're bad. I don't know or whether it's the scent of the products themselves, the ingredients needed a little, you know, let's let's make them smell a little better than they are. A little vanilla would not have gone amiss in these. My other beef with these is the ones that I use the most, this one here. Um, the cap already has like cracks in it. There's a couple of cracks, there's one here, there's one here, so that when I put it on, it's likely to come off in my pocket, in my purse, and then it's floating around like this and this really soft formula does end up getting, so I have loved these. I think the packaging, charge me a dollar more and give me better packaging where it's not gonna crack and it's not gonna be a cheapy little disaster. And you know, put a little scent in there, just give it a little bit of a glow up. And these would be great because they look beautiful on the lips, they're comfortable on the lips. The colors are so, 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 so pretty, but mm, they're not everything that they were at the beginning. Now they're a little rough. Here's one I completely forgot about. It's not a bad product. It does have a very strong scent. This is the About Face. Um, this is called their Cherry Pick Lip Color Butter. I have the shade Kiwi Fuzz and I like it, but it's a pretty bold shade. The formulation though, I mean like, come on, pigment. You do really have to, that was one click. You have to be careful. A lot of these products, are the sort that when you advance them, you cannot roll them down. You click up, click like just as much as you think you're gonna need. Um, I feel like I might use, if I had the red one, a little bit more. But I think what the drawback for this is it is such a slippy and emollient product. And it is so pigmented that on my older lips as I put it on, sometimes it finds those little cracks and crevices and just goes whoop. So this is one, although it, it's an easy product to use, because of the fact that I have mature lips, I need a lip liner with this. And so it adds an extra layer and I haven't been reaching for it. Not because the color is not pretty, but just because to have it looking crisp and not kind of like crazy, like crazy clown mouth where like the color and the gloss is just like, 
everywhere. This needs a little hand holding. But I think the formula is nice and there are some probably some sheer colors. This was just the color that called to me because I've really been loving brown lip products. Obviously brown, brown, brown. This one is nice, but it needs a little maintenance on mature lips. Another product that's very similar, and this is an OG, and you might be surprised that it's down this low. And this is where I tell you, it's not that I don't like these. I like these. They just aren't as like, they don't have the death grip on me that other products have. And it's this, these are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I'm not gonna swatch all of them for you. I got a bundle of nine. I got three of these, three of another formula, and then three of a third formula. And these, I think these are nice. I really like these. I'm, I'm gonna swatch the shade for you over here. This is Peony, super easy to wear. Like these take no mirror, no effort, no thought. Click them up, apply them. And maybe it's because the packaging is just kind of, it feels a little drugstore to me. But okay, I didn't pay a lot for these. I paid $40 for nine. I know, you're like, why are you complaining? But normally these retail for what, $22, $24 a piece? They're expensive. And I would not want to recommend to you that you pay that for this unless you get the absolutely perfect color. I got a QVC deal. I'm not mad. I have these and I have been using them. And normally they're living in my purse or they're living on my desk close to where I edit or they're living on my bedside table or I have one in the kitchen for when my lips are dry just to grab and slap one on and keep cooking. So these are nice. But I don't know that for the 20 what dollar price, unless it was the absolutely perfect shade and maybe I haven't encountered it yet, that I would need to have another one of these. I feel like there are some other products at a more affordable price point that do the same thing. Are these bad? No, not at all. Here's the other Tarte. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Plump. Um, one of these I picked up during the Ulta sale at the beginning of this spring. And then the other three are part of the set. I actually really like this. And this shade right here is the one that I like. This is the shade Mixed Berries. It's very pretty. I don't know if it was a QVC exclusive, but it's a little bit warm. It's a little bit, it's not too much. Um, the problem I don't like, and this is stupid, is guess what? The stickers that are supposed to be on the bottom that give you the name, the bottom is actually domed. I don't know that you can see that. And so they fall off. And so I have to take a Sharpie when I don't know which one it is, but if I had two of these, and the sticker came off at the same time and I was like, which one is which? And so I think I have them labeled right, but I hate that I don't, like, if I put these in a purse, are they gonna come in and out with the sticker? Am I gonna notice it at the same time? And I have four of these, I have three of the other ones, uh, and the packaging is all the same where the sticker doesn't stick well to the bottom. I know it's a small thing, but it is a point of pain and I don't love that about it. This next product is one where I really like the formula, but it's this kind of far down towards the, you know, bottom half or maybe middle bottom half of the whole batch because of the color I picked. And this was on me. I bought it online. I saw the color online and the reality was it was very different. So this is the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. I love the formula of this. The formula is great. I even like the short squat neon packaging. It's super cute. I have the shade scrolling. Um, it's too orange. It's too orange. I have been wanting, I thought I was getting like a brown lip oil and it's very terracotta. It's a little warmer than I like to wear. And as it thins out, it kind of looks a little peachy. And okay, it's not the end of the world, but the formula is so nice. It's gloss, juicy, nourishing. Love, 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 love. I keep wanting to get another one, but with 35 new ones, I, I can't really give myself permission to do that. But I would recommend going in store to Ulta or another place that sells um, NYX, looking at what they have in store, looking at the actual color. Cause had I seen it being kind of like this terracotta shade to be like, not you, something else, maybe something more berry, maybe something more red, maybe something more nude. This is not my preferred shade, but I love this formula. Do you remember when everybody was going gaga for this from Rare? Now, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad. I really like it. I think this is a beautiful product. Um, this is the tinted lip oil from Rare. I like it a lot. I have the shade Wonder. I feel like it's a really good shade for me. I like that it's glossy. I like that it's nourishing. I like that I can continue to add on, you know, like more layers, like an hour and a half later, most of it's gone. Most of the shine is gone. I can add a quick layer on. And then like after two or three applications, like five hours later, I can switch to a clear gloss. 
How do you think this doe foot got pink? I just like swipe it over the top and then I'm able to still have the color because she stains. I love that. This is actually really nice. Um, I feel like it's not really a lip oil. It's more of like a lip tint. And I feel like um, it definitely feels like a lot of more Korean brands, but I feel like this was a really smart move for Rare. I can see why people like this. And there is one shade I really have been wanting to get, but I probably would only purchase it after I finish this. But when I first got this, it was what was in my pocket. It was what was in my purse. My 15 year old was borrowing it. We were like, I'm surprised we're not done with this already because we were in love with this when I first got it this spring. Here's one that I love. And I was literally wearing it before I put this lip product on. Um, before I got my face on this morning, I was running errands and I was like, let me just throw on a lip product and I reach for this and I like it so much. This is the Amicole lip oil. This is beautiful. This is the shade Excellence. I love this, but this does the same thing that the CoverGirl Fresh Skin Yummy Gloss does, which is if you over apply, and look, look how pretty, look how pretty it is. If you over apply, she strings and pulls. But this is very nourishing. This is very plush and thick on the lips. So it's really easy to wear. But guess what I'm willing to do here that I'm not willing to do here. And I don't know if it's because I paid more for this. I don't know if it's because I like this kind of brown color and I really love brown lips right now. Is I'll put it on and then I will take my finger and like wipe off the excess where my lips touch and make sure that I don't have products sitting in the corners I'll wipe the corners out. Like I'm willing to babysit this lip oil. I really like it. But this is one where if you don't over apply, you're gonna be great. It, I mean, it, it's glassy, it's juicy, it's actually hydrating. My lips are better when I wear this than when I wear something else. I really like this. And the one thing that I think is really cool, the doe foot has these little kind of ridges on there. So it kind of picks up extra product. Now, if you aren't losing volume in your lips like I am, my lips used to be much more luscious, much more voluminous, like 10 years ago, different set of lips. But since I am losing volume, I feel like this applicator can pick up a little more than I'm comfortable with. And that's where I get the stringy gloss. So if you have been trying this and struggling with it, use less on the applicator or wipe some off and see how that helps you. But I really do like this and I think it might be the color because it's so pretty. I really, really like it and it looks so lovely on the lips. I have two of these Kaja Chelly Jarm lip stains. Okay, are they glossy stains? I forget what they're called. I'll list it down below. I liked one of these so much I had to get the other. Like, it's rare for me, especially when they're kind of cutesy. It feels almost like Claire's makeup, but this is a wonderful formula from a Korean brand. And it does the same thing that the rare one does where it tints your lips. I'm only gonna leave one swatch because you'll see I still have part of the rare one here. But this is the shade here in, um, what is it, Fig Soda. And then the darker one I got is like Glazed Mocha. These are so nice on the lips. And I do the same thing I do with the one from Rare. I'll put on like a layer as that layer is kind of sinking in and I need more hydration, I'll throw on another layer. After that, I just throw on a clear gloss or I'll put on something like this. It has a little bit of tint, but isn't too much just to keep the lips juicy and hydrated. And it looks like I have perfect lipstick all day. It's because these tint, I have never been a fan of lip tints because they've always been really drying to the lips. I didn't know that my lip tint needed some hydration and gloss over the top. And this formula here gives you both. Um, if you don't, I find that if I keep applying and applying and applying, I do get a darker and darker and darker and darker lip. And this summer, I don't want a really dark, dark lip. I want kind of like a more neutral lip. And these Kaja Jelly Charm stains are amazing. All right, this next one, I found at the drugstore. I know it's on the newer side, but you'll see I've had this for maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm almost halfway through. Okay, so this is the Glostopia Lip Oil from Hard Candy. Um, this is the shade, what is it, uh, Peach Dream. The peach one, it's basically clear, but it smells like peach candy. It smells, here it is, it's, it's a beautiful lip oil. It's thin, it feels very oil-like. Um, this is one that if I, I did try it one day with a lip liner, I put this over the top and it broke the lip liner down and then I had color kind of sinking into all of my lines. I don't wanna over apply this because if I put on too much, it just kind of creeps. But if I put on a thin layer and then, you know, when I'm, it's kind of soaked in, I put on another thin layer, I really like it. It smells like those peach rings, you know, those kind of orange and <laughs> yellow peach rings. 
Love those. Um, I've always loved those since I was a kid. That's what this smells like. It's actually, I like the doe foot on here. I think the component is super, super cute. And if you're looking for an easy, no fuss, hydrate my lips, affordable and really, really good. Another thing I liked from uh, Hard Candy is this. This is their Insta Pout. I think is it melting bomb, plumping bomb. I forget what it's called, but this one is in the shade My Type. Okay, this is a gloss and stick form. I have been ad addicted to this. I've had, I bought these both at the same time, so I've had them for just a little more than uh, you know a couple weeks. But I think that the reason they're kind of right smack dab in the middle is because a lot of the other stuff I got earlier in the year, and these are the ones I have been reaching for, reaching for, reaching for. Easy to wear, slightly pinky, clear, and smells like candy. I like it, but if you are sensitive to scents, this one's gonna bother you. This one has a very, very, I don't even know if it's scented. Am I smelling like ingredients? I don't know, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really smell sweet, but it is such a pretty formula. And as I put this on, this doesn't melt the same way and head into all of my lip lines the way something else does, it's a little bit glossier. I love these. This is one of those products, I bought one, I liked it so much, I picked up another, and it's the Make Serum Balm. And these are the intense version. I have two shades. Um, the first one I picked up is the one that I'm nearly out of. I keep looking through the little window here and I'm like, oh, we're almost out. And this one here is called Anti-Gravity, but it is such a pretty, beautiful formula. Like, I really feel like I'm like, like, where are you in here? I feel like we're out of it. Oh, there we go. Look at this shiny, glossy, colorful, you can sheer it out. And this leaves my lips, out of all the products here, this leaves my lips pillow soft. Nothing else moisturizes quite like this does. This is a treatment as well as color. They do have a sheerer version, it's just their Serum Balm. And their Serum Balm Intense is because it has more intensive pigment in it. But I have a cool toned in Mystic Mauve and I have this one in Anti-Gravity that's a really pretty kind of warm nude. Stunning. So good, especially in winter time because I got this one in January and I burned through it. I'm almost out of it because it was so good and I couldn't put it down this winter. These are new, but I'm, I'm addicted. This is what I was hoping the rose comforting glosses or colors from Wet n Wild would be or the ones from Tarte. And these are a little bit more affordable if you can find them on sale. These are the Roman Glasting Melting Bombs. It's a Korean product. Um, I got these on, did I get these on Amazon? I got them on Amazon, but I think a lot of other places have them. Like Yes Style carries these. I know Style Vana carries these. And those are two different Korean sites that sell Korean skincare, makeup, and like hair products and body products. But these are amazing. I got these when they weren't like 13 or $14 a piece. I got them half off at seven something a piece. And they have been amazing. These are great because unlike all the rest of the balms that are kind of like a lip gloss and stick form, you can roll these up and roll these down like a lipstick. That is huge to me, which means that they're not as soft, they're not as likely to trail out into all of my lip lines. And this shade here in Hippie Berry, <gasps> it's not really berry, it's kind of like a red. It's a sheer red, it's glossy, it's balmy, it's plush. These stick on my lips, whereas other products will kind of um, go away and I need to reapply. I'm trying to think of ones that need me to reapply you know, like every hour and a half. These will be on for like three hours. Yeah, they do wear down because they're a sheer glossy formula, but they don't kind of go everywhere. I love these glassing melting bombs. These are so good. If you find them on sale, I think they're worth it at the $14 mark. They're really good, but if you can find them on sale, like dude, find the ones that are your shades. I have the shade Nougat Sand, Kaya Fig, which is more of a mauve, and this red in um, Hippie Berry. I love these. Here's one that I bought it, and I was this close to returning it, but I realized I couldn't stop using it. And it commits my cardinal sin of being, if I over apply, and that's a me problem because I'm a chronic over applier, it strings and pulls. But I want you to see how little there is left in the tube. I've used all but a quarter of it to the point where part of the doe foot is sticking out of what's left at the bottom. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Lip Gloss. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the shade Cherry Vanilla. I love the little scoop that is the applicator. And I'm at the point now where you can see only the very tip of it as it's sitting in there, is sitting in the gloss. 
This is so good. I'm almost to the point where I need to take the stopper out and like really clean out the jar, but it is the shiniest, glossiest. It's almost like, have you ever tried one of those top coats for nails that is clear? They call it self-leveling. Well, you put it down, it just kind of like smooths out any fingerprints or like if you get a cat hair and you pull the cat hair out, there's a little bit of texture, it just kind of forgives all of the wrinkles and crinkles. That's what this does to my lips. It is so thick and so juicy. Wrinkles, what wrinkles? Textured lips, what texture? You know, slightly flaky, what? No, this makes my lips look perfect. But if I put it on the way, like this heavy on my lips, it does, you know, puddle in the corners and string and pull. But I have loved this so, I mean, obviously, I have loved it so much. I can't remember other than another formula in this lineup one that I would be like, I think I need another one now. This one, so good. All right, love this next one. This is Drugstore, this is fabulous. I keep telling myself I wanna pick up more. And these are the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oils. I'm halfway through. I picked this up at the beginning of the summer. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Amazing. This is the Peach Raspberry. It has one of those big, chunky doe foots that I love. So it's right here. This one, you can apply with wild abandon. There will be no puddling. There will be no stringing. There will be no like weird business. It smells good. It, it does smell kind of like artificial fruit, but it smells good. Um, it's not the sweetest. It's not like the one from, you know, that smells like a specific, I don't, I'm not smelling peach and I'm not smelling raspberry. I'm smelling fruit, but this smells like, like watermelon. And some of the other ones will smell more like like vanilla or sugar or something. This definitely has an artificial fruit scent to it, but it doesn't bother me. And it's not so strong that I'm gonna be like, ugh, I can't smell anything but that. But I love how sheer and juicy it makes my lips look. This is also one that I feel is kind of a little bit less on the oil side, a little bit more on the gloss side, because it doesn't kind of find all my lip lines instantly and like feather out. This is one that also hangs tight a little bit longer and leaves my lips more nourished than when I first put it on. This progressively throughout the day makes my lip condition better. It improves my lip condition. Some of these, like whatever my original lip state was when I first put it on, that's what you get at the end of the day. There are some other products that I feel like actually dry my lips out. This is one where I feel like is so good because it's affordable and they're easy to come by and they're not brand new and everyone's going gaga for them. But this one actually makes my lips better. So if you're looking for an affordable, glossy situation, Drugstore Milani, fabulous. So these are not my number one product. These are from Beauty Pie. These are the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. I purchased four for myself. Um, actually, I purchased seven this year. <laughs> one for my mother-in-law, one for my daughter, and one for my bestie, and then four for myself. Uh, love. Love, love, love. Obviously, these two are the ones that have been getting a lot more use. I do like these two. These are limited edition shades for summer. I'm hoping they'll bring them back next summer, but you can't buy them right now. Um, this is another limited edition shade. This is one of their regular shades. My favorite shade ever was the shade Jammy. And here in the US, they discontinued it. One of my subscribers said, I can send you one. I live in the UK. I can still get it. I was like, oh, that's so sweet of you. That's okay. I have moved on to Cherio. This formula, though, is great. And it is describing itself as a gloss and um, a lip oil. This does what the Milani one does, which is comfort and nourish my lips throughout the day, hangs tight a little bit longer, doesn't instantly kind of absorb and go away. It makes my lips look juicier. It doesn't really spider out into my lines. Like if I've been wearing it all day and reapplying, reapplying, I might have like a little shine out here, like into a few of the little lines, just like, like a fraction of a millimeter and it's not bad you wouldn't really know unless you were like up close looking or taking a magnifying mirror to my mouth but this formula does something different than milani milani is thin this feels plushy this feels cushy this feels like almost like a pillow as you put it on your lips it's like a plushy lovely thick layer if you and thick sounds bad sometimes thick sounds like the lipstick of the 80s and the early 90s where it was like you put it on it was like I can't let my lips touch because if they do, they'll never, it looks like sticky. No, this isn't sticky. This isn't thick in a bad way. This is thick in a comforting way. It's like, it's like putting a puffer jacket on your lips, you know, like warm, cozy, comfortable. Not that this is warming at all, but just, it's like everything my lips want 
in this formula and i love that they make like a lot of beautiful shades their regular line has kind of like a plum has like a peachy peach peachy pink color has a clear gloss has this one this formula is top notch i just wish it wasn't creeping up in price now my number one that i have been using i've had it for less than a month and i am almost halfway through and i am so late to the game on this one so late to the game on this one but it's the clarins comforting lip oil Okay, this was one of the first lip oils I remember hearing about. I remember hearing about the one from Hourglass and then the one from Clarins, and then that was like years ago. And then people started really going, leaning into the lip oil, and now it's like everybody and their mother has a lip oil. But my favorite thing about this is this giant chunky doe foot. Let me give you a swatch. This is the shade Chocolate. It is so pretty. It's brown, but it has a little bit of red to it. You can see that in the doe foot here. It does have a slightly red lean, and with my natural lip color, it looks like a really soft, kind of romantic, earthy red. It's not red and it's not brown. It's not too brown leaning and it's not too red. It just looks effortless and chic. Now, the difference between this and say the one from Hard Candy, which has a very similar shaped wand, if you're looking at these. So the Hard Candy wand, and they're both chunky. They both like big paddles here, but this one, Look how it bends and flex. This one here does not, it's, it's rigid. <laughs> so putting this on is like the most amazing. It curves, it hugs my lips. And then the velvet on here is super soft. So between this beautiful nuanced color in chocolate, the applicator that kind of hugs my lips and the softness of the velvet, this is not a bad doe foot, but it definitely feels like a bargain doe foot. I get the same doe foot in the one from NYX. This one here, the one from Milani, these more inexpensive glosses, I feel like you get it in the component. This lip oil here is in the $20 range, I think it's like $24, $26, but I would pay that again in a heartbeat because of the experience. Not only does it nourish my lips, not only is the color lovely, like the packaging is nice. If I leave it in my purse and it goes sideways, because you see that it moves, I don't have gloss or oil all over the bottom of my handbag. It seals nicely. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It doesn't string and puddle. It nourishes my lips. The, uh, mm, like seriously, I can't like have it here and not put it on. I love this. I love this. This has kind of dethroned my favorite from Beauty Pie. Not that I don't still love this, but this has been my number one for like three years, like my best gloss ever. And it's a gloss and lip oil at the same time. This right here changed my world, changed my game. I love it. I'm, I'm trying not to love it so much because it's so much more expensive than a lot of other things. But if you're looking for something that's great from the drugstore that's affordable, this guy is good. This guy is good. I also really like the NYX, but you gotta find your right shade. I feel like there's so many beautiful products, so many beautiful products. I would love to know if you are in a season of glossy, glassy, shiny lips, what are your favorite formulas? Do you have a favorite shade? And have you tried any of these? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon.